Hello, welcome to another hiking video. This is Steve. I'm at the Neshota Park with my nephew, Joe. Hello. Uh, so I just finished doing a Walk in the Spirit, one of my ministry videos, and we're just gonna sh record this a little bit before he gets back to the car. Again, once again, at Neshota. Uh, one of my top, uh, top six, top seven favorite places to hike. Joe was just telling me it probably his second favorite. Yeah, I've... second. It's, <laughs> it's it's the different kinds of nature that I like. I like yeah. seeing a, a variation. Neshota has lots of different kinds of areas. We have hilly areas here, swamp areas here. There is a um, a prairie up here. Joe hasn't seen much of it. A little bit of it. Uh, different kinds of woods. So it is it really nice to be able to see different kinds of ground and uh, nature. Mm -hmm. here I came here today because it was windy uh, 15 miles an hour wind and this is one of the places uh, I go to the low area surrounded by hills and it breaks the wind that's really nice to do that if we're going to record a video in a windy day it's definitely amazing if, if, if people who are watching this know Green Bay that wind in the winter is so terrible <laughs> It's horrible to your skin. Yeah, not quite as bad as Chicago, but it can be quite windy here. Oh yeah. Oh. That's the, uh, up there is the uh, prairie. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm showing you too, not just them. Now that's, this is what I was talking about, the transition, there's a transition in different trees. Yeah. We're going into like more of, uh, pine? Pine, yeah, yeah pine. <laughs> I'm having a, I'm well, a we're function. gonna turn left here and go back into the swamp, the lower area again. I think it was just, uh, I think two weeks ago, they did a candlelight hike here. I went two years ago. I do miss a lot of those kind of events because I don't go on social media anymore. Everybody posts there now so you don't see it on TV. The, the candlelight hike is nice. But it's too dark to really record, so I've never recorded one. I've been to two of them. It'd be interesting. It'd be something to take my wife to. And there's some places that will do it in summer. They do glow stick hikes. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go this way. I am a big fan of uh, glow-in-the-dark things. Now my first candlelight hike was actually here, and they use those fake candles. Okay. But I took, went up north, um, Athelstane area, actually to what's called Goodman Park, and they had a uh, candlelight hike, but they used real candles. I think that would add a lot more uh, immersion into the. I'm just concerned though, because I put the candles in a white bag, and I'm like, well, if that candle tips over, it's going to cause the bag to go on fire. <laughs> I didn't see that. that happen, but I guess it's kind of safe because it's the middle of winter and there's snow everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I still like the fact that I, uh, I had read that we actually used to put candles on Christmas trees. Yeah, that was real unsafe. A lot, of, <laughs> a lot of fires. But I bet you it looked beautiful. Yeah. And that's why we have electric lights on the trees now. <laughs> way better, but the, the ambiance is way different now. Yeah. Because we have all the color variations. I 
it's also enjoyable to see the 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 two seasons trying to battle themselves <laughs> yeah trying to get green but it's also trying to freeze and it's kind of cool looking so yeah we had some more snow as you can see because it was almost all the snow was gone two weeks yeah. ago we've had two small snow uh fallings but nothing big i was concerned about coming here and walking on the snow because they have uh ski trails but there is the main sign said ski trails are closed <laughs> even though we saw other signs that said otherwise so i'm gonna go by the main sign and if uh we broke a rule we ask you guys to get those fix those signs <laughs> whoops <laughs> but uh, most of the trails don't have as much snow as this spot so i think that's why uh yeah they gave up on the ski trails this year i think skiing was really bad in northeast wisconsin because we had the big snowstorm and it lasted few weeks a month <laughs> and then it all melted it was sad I was looking forward to it I wanted to see what I what I'm what I've been used to because I had moved down to the south you don't really get to see it snow like you see here and I lived in uh, Texas four years and um, I think I saw snow once I didn't see a snow not once in Nacogdoches. Hmm. It was none. You didn't even get a frosting or a dusting. And the last time when I lived down there, somebody had told me when they did, they got less, they got dusting of snow and they closed down the whole city because no <laughs> one knew how to deal with it. Yeah. They said it was a ghost town that year. You know, I'd say the last extreme weather event here in winter was in Tulsa, Oklahoma, when we had a freeze over. Yeah. I had gone outside the day after the storm and I picked off ice off of a leaf and had a perfect, perfect leaf decoration <laughs> in ice form. It was beautiful. Yeah. It was the perfect shape of a, of a leaf. The place where we had, we had a lot of fig trees in the backyard. And that's oh. where I picked them from. I like fig tree leaves. They're, they're amazing looking. Good shape of them. I lived in Marshall, Texas. I think it was almond trees. It was some kind of nut tree. They're all over the city. This will take us back to the park, but it'll be a different entrance when, than from where we came in at. Nice. So this is going to be a short hike, folks. Uh, probably got about four minutes. If it's not too late, I guess I'm going to give the surprise to Joe. We're going to stop by the waterfall and see that. I know he wants to see it real bad. It's, I use it at the beginning of one of my uh, introductions to one of my videos. He, oh. He's been wanting to see it. Yeah, I know it. Took me a second. Wow, that's going to be awesome. I'm going to enjoy that. I always liked how you like when you were circling around it almost felt like, like a hidden cove. <laughs> but it's in Wisconsin it was stone and not water. Well there's water but But it was at that when I recorded that the uh the, the stream was uh almost gone. Almost dry. Well, well for me the only time you ever see something like that beauty is when you see like tropical retreats and stuff on video. So to see it in Wisconsin, it was kind of cool. I liked it. That's why when I see the intros, I would always just sometimes freeze on the fish <laughs> so I could see the, the formation. If you want to see it, folks, just uh, click on one of my Walk in the Spirit videos. It's the introduction to that series. Really beautiful opening.
be honest, one of your better catchers. I like them. I recorded that, uh, I think, the second week I owned my GoPro. Hmm. It's like some of the videos that I captured that, uh, the wife refuses to let me delete because of my limited space. Yeah. She likes it so much, she likes seeing it once in a while. Because it's just, it's the, the river flowing in the, uh, by the Maribel Caves. Oh, yeah. The snow falling. There's some, there's some very beautiful scenes there. Oh, and yeah. we were there at a snowstorm. <laughs> <laughs> it made for a very beautiful, for a uh, very beautiful scene. Yes. My phone can uh, transfer it to the TV. Because they're both Google. Gotcha. So I got to make a big screen and up the resolution so we could see really crisp image. Whew. Well, that's it, folks. We're back at the park entrance. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed this short video. Um, like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to follow my videos just for the hiking, maybe you don't want to subscribe because I do preaching. Uh, at the very end of the video, I'll put playlists in the corners of the screen. I'd recommend opening one of them up and bookmark that. That's how you can find my hiking videos. You'll see those book, book uh, playlists at the end of the video after the outro. And then just open that up and bookmark it. See you so soon, folks, hopefully. Bye-bye. Have a good day.